well, that's a first. Who would have known? Um, that I've come to a point where I'm not sure how I'm going to finish a project. This is the knit dress that I am going to make smaller and I'm not going to have any waste, which is an excellent thing to do. So I just hope that I like the style though, that's the thing isn't it? Um, yeah, no waste as much as possible. Um, so it's going to be quite an easy project, says me. <laughs> um, so it's a knit dress that is too big for me. I love the colour and it's a good quality knit as well. Um, so the way I'm going to make it smaller is to take it in at the sides. I don't want it to be too figure hooking even though that can be the case. So I'll share more tips about what you can do with yours hopefully towards the end of the video. So let's get started. Okay so the dress has slits in the side on both sides um not sure whether i'm going to keep no i do want to keep the slits i may just have one it depends you know i've got to do the fitting and let's see how it goes um but at the moment i'm not thinking of not having the slits i do want the slits to be part of this feature and um it is too big like i've mentioned and yeah i think the first thing we need to do is just try it on and see what we're going to do next. It's going to be a quick and easy project. You should be able to get this done within an hour. So let's get fitting. Okay, this is going to be personal choice of whether or not you wear something underneath your dress. I want to wear it both ways so that I'll be able to make it more versatile so I'll wear it with something underneath and also just the dress by itself so it is possible to take it from this sleeve and down the sides so basically what's going to happen here is that I'm going to pinch in to how much you want it to be so I'm at the waistline right now it's quite a lot of that I'm taking in start there so I'll get a pin Place the pin in the sides. Like so. Get one on the other side, but I'm gonna make sure it's even when it's off my body. Okay, so I've taken it in at the sides. It's not too big a hugging at the moment. I am going to take it from further up. So I'm going to use a pin as a guide to how much I'm going to take it in at the sides. So from the underarm I'm going to take it in just a little bit, not too much. So it's going to be a little bit of a curve that's happening here. So about there is how much I'll take it in. should be okay and then the width from my waistline here here to here I'm going to keep that going all the way down to the slit because it's a knit I may take in just a bit more but that will require another fitting that I will definitely do so that you can see Let's bring the camera down just a little. So there, that's my waistline. Now that's how much I'm taking it in. And I'm keeping that same distance past my hips all the way down to where the slit is. So it's the same distance. You can take it all the way down to the hemline if you wish as well. But on this occasion, I'm just going to stop there and just see how that looks. Let me just do the side profile. That's okay. Yeah, I like that. I just want to see what these look like at the sides. I want to come to the body. Like 
let's see, I'm gonna put another pin here. So it's going to be a curved shape, slightly curved under the arm, straight down all the way to the slit or the hemline. And let's see what that looks like. So before I actually start, before I take it to the sewing machine, I'm going to hand sew that just to make sure that I like the way it looks on both sides. But at the moment that's looking good. Okay, so here is the shape that we are going for. And what we are going to do is to keep this as flat as possible. And we're going to baste on both sides. And remember, there's going to be no waste. So get my thread. Some hand sewing is going to be involved. Let me turn this towards me. And let's start basting. I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. My channel's all about inspiring, motivating, and sharing ideas to upcycle fashion. So if you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm on the Patreon platform where there are three, yes, three different levels that you can join, link in the description. So I have based it all the way down on one side and I placed a couple of pins in positions to where I want it to be the same shape on the opposite side. So I'm just gonna fold that forward just a little bit. Get my sewing gauge here and just measure to see where the first pin is going to be. Okay, get my pin. Just roughly guide that to about there. Okay, so I put the first pin in there and bring it down. You can also measure it this way as well. So from there to there, put a pin in. See what measurement that is. Oh, that's two. Place the pin there, and that should be a little bit less. Yes, one and a half to there. So I'm going to come from under the arm here and come all the way down, like so, all the way to the hemline. Okay, here's goes right so that you can see me try this on mess my hair up no it isn't a mess it will do i got a pin in this yes i've got a pin I've got so many pins out. Oh, oh my goodness. Just too eager to show you. Okay. Okay. Um. Um. I don't know. Oh, there's a pin there as well. Oh, 
What do you think? Right, I've got one where the slit is open and I went straight down to the hemline when I came to basting this side, which I don't like. Definitely don't like that. Let me show you. So let's start with that first. The slit here. I've gone all the way down to, even if I opened it up and perhaps even sewn it down, it's an option. Not for me though, I don't, no it's not for me. I prefer, yeah I prefer that. Maybe we could just have one open. Neither close, that's an option. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I think I need to take it in a lot more. So, I mean, I'm quite straight up and down when it comes to my body shape. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not bad, I do. It's not a bad idea. I do like it. It's just how close you want to get to your body, isn't it? Your body shape. So, you've got to even, because there's quite a lot of stretch in this. Um. He's going more. But you can see. <laughs> you get the idea, don't you? That we don't want waste. It's not, I'm going to use the word ugly. Um, it feels comfortable. It depends on how you fitted you want it to your body. So I am going to go in some more, probably the same amount that I've actually gone in on each side, go in, so it'd be more finger hooking, because I, I like, it's almost coming to a point when I take in more at the sides, that I do like what's happening, so it would be just a little bit more fitted to my body, and because I've got garments underneath, um, yeah, it may not be an issue, that's it! So, um, yeah, and all it will be a case of is then just sewing down each size of the dress and the project is complete. I just have to make my mind up whether or not I'm going to have it as fitted as perhaps I should do in order to get the effect that I want from the side wings, I'm calling them. But, you know, with the right accessories, I still think this amount is good. So if you wanted that option, you don't have to have it that fitted. It's still, it's still good in how you actually accessorise it. But yeah, I'm going to go in more and let's see what it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> deal. <laughs> but saying that, you know what I'm going to say. Yeah, my Friday video outfits of the week is where you'll see what I have gone for, what option I've gone for, whether I'm keeping it like this, whether I'm having slits open on both sides, or just on one side, or even both of them so oh that'd be nice. Or even both of them sewn at the same time. And then this case of a little bit of a wobble and a sexy walk. But yeah, it's a simple, it's a simple refashion upside project and all, all that's required of you for whatever shape your body is, is to just sew from the wet, the underarm down to the hemline. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Well, that's a first. Who would have known? Um, that I've come to a point where I'm not sure how I'm going to finish a project. But you know me, I like to tease you, so my Friday videos of the week is where you'll find whether or not, I haven't done anything to it yet, I'm still kind of in two minds, um, so I'm going to just walk around in different footwear, 
So I'm sharing some tips and advice with you now. So I'll put on some different footwear, some flats, some heels, some boots, um, perhaps a bit of jewellery. I'll probably do one side and see how that looks before I do the other side. Basting, not sewing at this stage, not, not with knits and to unpick now it would be another basting and then try it on and see if I want it closer to my body so if you are in a bit of flux like what I am at the moment then I would definitely say the key to this project is to baste that's it baste don't even think about sewing at the moment until you get it right depending how the fit that you're looking for for your body shape if you want it to be a lot more body hooking then it is a case of taking it in a lot more if you don't and then and you like what I've done so far then that's fine remember it's your project your body shape and then you know just play around with different accessories about how you're going to wear it if you can't make your mind up and um, but basing is going to be the key to that so let's say another body shape let's say if you had more of a tummy or even a bigger bottom, posterior, um, rear end, whatever you call it, it would be a case of just a little bit of waist. Um, so I would take away the seam, so just cut and that, the overlocking seam, just cut that and then just play with each piece individually. So for example, if you have more of a tummy and not so much of um, uh, a backside, then it would be a case you're going to need more of this to the front than you would the back so you might get some of the back a bit more wastage but cut away the seam first so you have two strands and yeah then play around with that remember key is to base just practice and base and um, I'm sure you show me your projects at some stage and um, so yeah that's it if you enjoyed this video then please do consider subscribing and also give this video a like, comment, share and yeah that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to watch my Friday outfits of the week where I'll definitely be showing you how I will style this and the decision I made whether it's going to be fitted or not. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.